Hello everybody, welcome back to High Ground. My name is Tanner and today we're going to be going over what has already happened in the NA and EU playoffs. So four best of threes to talk about today. Of course, two for EU, two for NA. We're going to start with EU. They happened first chronologically. And uh, I mean, going forward, the games are a little bit convoluted. We go a little bit back and forth, um, but that's not terribly important. I mostly want to talk about what's already happened and we'll look to the future just a little bit. Okay, so, and, and actually before I get into things, a few corrections from that previous video. I think I said that Oxygen didn't make any roster changes, of course, forgetting that they did replace Vertical with Yaga. Uh, I think I might have said that BDS only made top 16 at SI. I think I was definitely confusing them with Liquid or Sonics, who both only made top 16, but BDS did make top 8, so not a completely lackluster result, but still a little bit uh, less than they would have expected based on winning the previous major. And also, I think I might have mentioned something about this last match being for seeding, and somebody said that's probably not the case, that it's just for you get more SI points and more money if you win this match. Um, and seeding, maybe, unless they haven't, like maybe they just haven't specified that it is or not, but it doesn't seem like that would make sense. These two teams both go to phase two of the major, which is Swiss. I wouldn't imagine there's really any seeding in this. Like maybe they're doing something, but that seems a little bit weird. Um, you know, Swiss doesn't really call for any seeding like you would have for, you know, say groups, which is what phase one is. Anyways, and without uh, much further ado, because I do also want to say at the beginning of the video, beginning ish of the video, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. If you have anything you want to comment at all, you know, I, I respond to pretty much every comment. Uh, do leave me a like, I really appreciate it. And then subscribe if you haven't already. If you're watching this video, you probably are very interested in this type of content. And, uh, you know, if there's anything I can do to improve, feel free to let me know. But, you know, subscribe, maybe ring the bell if you're so inclined. Okay, let's get into the game. Heroic versus Eminem, first one to start us off here. And was this actually the first one chronologically? Because I think, no, it actually wasn't. I don't know why they, they did it backwards, maybe for both regions, but certainly for this one. This one happened at 11 o'clock. So 7574, as you can see, neither of them went to all three maps. They were both two O's and actually neither of them went even to overtime in either map. Uh, but this one was at least closer. So we had a max regulation into a almost max regulation, but Virtus Pro walks away the winner. I think these were both the, uh, the favorite, definitely Virtus Pro over Secret and then um, I don't know, maybe some people were on the heroic train, but if I actually made a prediction, I think definitely I would have gone with Eminem. I wouldn't have expected this one to be so decisive. Like if one was gonna be close, I'd expect probably this one. Secret has seemingly improved. Virtus Pro maybe off to a little bit of a slow start as is their, <laughs> as is their style. Um, but okay, is there anything else I much wanna talk about here? Uh, yeah, well, this looks like this would probably be the most decisive game of the playoffs, but when we go over to NA, we actually see a a less close best of three. So only five rounds won by Heroic here, actually only four rounds won by one of the other teams we're going to talk about. So this sets up G2 versus Eminem and Wild versus Virtus. Wild versus Virtus Pro. That's funny to say. Um, I mean, of course, the first seeds are the expected winners. G2 was pretty solid in their group, but so was Eminem, honestly. Um, if we look at G2, they did take a loss in, in round 15 again, right? Was theirs the... No, theirs wasn't the round 15, was it? They lost, okay, round 14 versus Virtus Pro. So they have the one loss. Eminem also only has the one loss to Wild, who seemed impeccable. Um, like if you looked at the stats, all their players doing really well. They got an absolute ton of plants. They obviously didn't drop a single point. So that one on paper is closer. I, I think this one could end up being close. Like the Wild, they, I mean, they seemingly came out of nowhere. Like they're all players that have experience, some with uh, more than others, Hungry and, and Aces. Uh, with a ton of experience and then Packable maybe sort of in the middle and then there are other two players with a little bit but still we're in you know pro league we're in uh, tier one just last stage so i i don't know like is is wilds bubble finally gonna burst here i think this is maybe the one more so to watch g2 i would imagine would beat eminem but again like i, I wouldn't be terribly surprised to see eminem take this one as well um you know they looked really really solid against heroic here who have been sort of a shaky team usually fairly good but again pretty shaky for quite some time uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not even going to do predictions, honestly. Let me know who you think is going to win. I, again, I would assume both of the first seeds are slightly favored, but uh, not massively so. And then we, also, we of course, also had this. Um, I imagine this is just going to be like an absolute Mickey Mouse game. They're just going to mess around. I, w I guess I would predict Heroic just, just based on the past, but just based on these games, of course, Secret did put up a better a better showing than Heroic. So, again, not, not doing predictions, um, but... You know, I guess I'd call maybe Heroic the favorite if we were ignoring 
uh, just this last game because, of course, they did have sort of a, a better showing. They went 2-2, two and two, and I guess Secret also went 2-2. Two and two. They had to win one in one overtime, but the round differential was minus one. Heroics was plus six, so, uh, you know, fairly significantly better. And, um, you know, this group, I th the middle of this group is a lot more clear-cut because in this group, actually, um, Wolves beat nobody. Koi beat only Wolves. T Secret beat Koi and Wolves. Eminem beat Secret, Koi and Wolves, and Wild beat all four of them, so... There's a pretty clear hierarchy in that group. Um, a little bit less so in this group, except for that, you know, G2 pretty clearly at the top at the end, just with these three uh, slugging it out. And okay, so let's go look at the uh, let's look at the individual games just pretty briefly here. Bank and Chalet were the the map played between Secret and Virtus Pro, and then here were the stats. Uh, Joystick and Pasha, the two really popping off. I think this was a little bit of a surprise. Joystick very, very quiet in the group stage. Him and Shepard both, and Shepard sort of continues to be so. But he's the uh, the hard support player, so get, cut him just a little bit more slack. Dan cooling off quite a bit. He had three incredible games and one uh, not not great game in groups, but still, you know, three incredible games. And then two not-so-incredible maps. Again, uh, Joystick especially, and then also Pasha were the ones doing the heavy lifting, with Pasha with that very notable 5 and one on the entry. And, you know, again, on Secret, nobody doing too well only savage going positive everybody going even or negative and um i guess they actually came out on top in terms of entry they went plus one overall so very close in terms of the entry as we've seen with a lot of the uh, the maps and matches we've covered recently and then the the next one oregon and clubhouse so we got c4 right none of the same it was chalet and Bay. yeah none of the same four maps for the um for these best of threes and then i don't i don't know i guess you know if they would have played chalet and whatever but they didn't um very close on the predictions and i guess yeah eminem the favorite but not by a massive amount i would have thought they would have been favorite a little bit more but uh you know still this felt like 50 50 even though it didn't end up being 50 50 at all uno crushed into the dirt skiddy pretty similar june blaz kayak nobody even going positive on heroic and then on the other hand eminem everyone going positive except for solotov uh kind of odd to see solotov if i remember right is the one that usually has a ton of entry engagements he actually has the fewest besides nello um even naif has more uses us flawless on the entry and uh, it's actually tyrant with the most so uh, I, I guess in any given game, you know, it could be uses or Tyrant or, or Solotov getting the most entry engagements, but uh, historically I think it's it's usually Solotov. He usually has a ton, but maybe they restructured a little bit, and maybe Solotov uh, suffers for it a little bit. His stat's not amazing, but again, you know, they, they handed a pretty decisive loss. Uses, I think generally considered the best player on the team, even if Tyrant and Solotov have their have their moments, um, but here actually Nath and Nello outperforming both of them as the support players, so really good to see all around, maybe just exposing some weaknesses from Heroic. Maybe they just really were prepared or our hero just weren't prepared i don't know what the case was anyways that's gonna do it for eu let's go over to na all right so here we have the bracket for na sonics versus m80 and oxygen versus beast coast so this one did happen first uh, so we are getting a bit chronological here and this is the only three mapper that we saw of all four games and uh you know the only one that involved overtime as well in the first map so sonics do end up losing this and it is an 8-6 victory for M80 on border. Now, a lot of the rounds were close, were scrappy, it is border, things happen. Um, but there was one round, I think, that really sticks in the mind. Sonics were up like 5-3, and I think one of their players was even like in the bomb site. And it's not like they were super low on time. I think they had a decent chunk of time. And then they let it fall all the way to a 1v3. And they, of course, didn't win the round. That was in regulation. Had they won that round um, and all the other rounds remained the same, they would have won 7-5. And then they went on to win Skyscraper decisively. Um, if we... Oh no, I guess it shows it right here. Yeah, Sonics were very, very good on Skyscraper. They went 3-3 in the first half, but then they walked away with four defenses in a row to close it out 7-3. So I guess Skyscraper trending towards the defense. We don't see the map a ton in NA or maybe even globally. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, generally a pretty rare map. And uh, well, Sonics were ready on it. Their defenses were stellar and they got half of their attacks, which, you know, again, assuming Skyscraper is a very defender-sided map is, is quite solid. But when we go to border, uh, you know, M80 kind of tears them apart. It was a a little bit embarrassing honestly like sonics won the first round and then the next five went to m80 and then you know two rounds for each of them in the second half result in a 7-3 win for m80 um going into the map or in in the match rather um i don't know who the fa i guess you'd say m80 were the favorites maybe because they beat sonics last time they played but again that was just a best of one and they played on i don't even remember what map it was um m80 versus sonics they played on chalet and they opted not to go there again i believe m80 had the opportunity but they probably assumed sonics were ready this time and this was actually sonics worst loss of the stage in the group stage a little bit weird um they felt like they were doing really badly 
and honestly i mean they weren't doing great you know there's not that many games to be played so if you lose a few games maybe you're not doing great but um you know they had a 5-7 they had this 4-7 loss to m80 they had a 5-7 loss to beast coast and then they had the 7-8 loss to ssg so you know actually overall they did quite well of course those being their only three losses and um you know 4-7 being the worst loss their round differential was quite good and and I guess, you know, they did, they did win pretty hard in the last day. So coming in the last day, they didn't look super impressive. They were at, um, you know, they were at three. No, no, they were at two and three, I guess, going in the last day, turning it around to a four and three. So anyways, M80 take it. But Sonics, yeah, they definitely had the opportunity to take it 2-0. They were fine on border except for letting a few things slip. They were good on Skyscraper. And then, uh, you know, they were just outclass on Villa. So good on M80 for hanging on in, in border to be able to take them to that villa match and then wow uh, look at this i i couldn't believe it um only four rounds for oxygen and so they've only won seven i want to say let's let's double check they didn't win in any rounds of course against ssg in their final match and they only won two against sonics so these guys only won six rounds in their last four games and um, people have been clowning on tt9 for only getting eight rounds in their whole group stage that's four they they only played four games in their group stage they got eight rounds in four eight rounds in four maps whereas oxygen got six rounds in four maps um so oxygen yeah they're just in absolute tatters and like as far as the predictions go so Be beast coast um they were fairly consistent throughout the stage they took this you know kind of bad loss to dark zero towards the end and then they uh, they got this very nice win over m80 at the very end um, whereas oxygen had that very poor last week but i mean keep in mind march 23rd is when these games were played and I'm recording this on, on March 30th. This was one week ago. So there was less... It, so within one single week, they played all of these games, both these best of ones and then this best of three. So, I mean, it does make sense that maybe they didn't recover in that time. That's still a pretty short period of time. They could have, you know, they had multiple days off to, to prepare. And last time they played, Oxygen also crushed Beast Coast. That was the very first game of the stage. Yeah, and it was a 7-3. So Beast Coast improved a lot. Oxygen fell off a lot, I guess. Um... But yeah, it, it was really weird to see. But again, cut them a little bit of slack because it, it's just, if you're not good on the day and and there were multiple days, but it was all just crammed into one week. Like the, the, the stage is just so tight that if you if you get some off days, like they're all so close together that it's just, it's very, very tricky. But again, I, I just did not expect them, even if they lost, to only take four rounds, like absolute crushing by Beast Coast. And, and honestly, I want to see Space Station win. I want to see Beast Coast win. Once, if, if both of them win, they both qualify to phase two, regardless of who wins the, the next match. But, uh, you know, Space Station been my team for a while. And Beast Coast, they've been so impressive. They, uh, they made the come up so quickly. Mr. B seems to be that guy. And uh, Hat also seems to be that other guy. So we'll see. And, well, we'll look at the stats in just one second uh and as far as predictions go i mean i guess you'd say space station has it over m80 uh, m80 was sixth place space station was second place they won their matchup handily i believe wasn't it like a seven three or seven yeah, seven three and uh, dark zero versus beast coast that was what did happen in that match that was a, a decisive win for for dark zero so tough path for for beast coast if they were on the other side things would have looked maybe a little bit different but they had to play the teams that handed them their worst losses i think because yeah they beat m80 they they lost that one to dark zero they they lost to mirage but that one was closer they beat parabellum decisively they lost or they beat ssg they, they beat sonics and they lost to oxg yeah so um i guess if, if they're on the other side of the bracket if they happen to place six instead of fifth then they would have played two teams that they already beat but well they proved that they can certainly beat teams that they lost to before by destroying auction but we'll see against dark zero the uh, the number one performer in the group stage and yeah i think that does it for that oh uh, yeah sonic first auction again probably a mickey mouse match like they're just playing for lcq seating it's not even like winner gets to go to phase one of the major um i guess you'd go with sonics because they had a close game against m80 whereas auction got decimated by beast coast no reason to believe that they recover for the the very next match that doesn't really even matter but this one oh no this one is today i was gonna say um this one and this one and this one are today and then this one and this one are like next week okay and then the uh, the Europe ones, I believe, are the day before that. So these ones are in like six days, and the, the Europe ones, I think, are in five days, the, the finals. Anyways, we'll take a look at the uh, the stats, and then we'll call it a day. So, yeah, Sonics versus M80. We had a uh, 6-8 that was on border, and then we went to Skyscraper and Villa. We sort of talked about this one. M80, very favored in the predictions, and I mean, I think it makes sense based on the fact that, well, I don't know. Like, I, I definitely wouldn't say this is a, a four to one matchup in 80% in favor of M80, uh, because again, M80 did give Sonics their best, their their worst loss, but Sonics, you know, 
decent bit better than M80. They placed third versus M86. So even though the points were quite close, you know, several places above them. And I mean, as far as the stats go, like Geo and Gunner really struggling. Rexen and Grixer were doing fine. Like they definitely could have done more, but uh, good stats overall. Same thing from Citizen, but you know. I guess these are their two more supportive players, but like you, ju you just can't have this bad of a game from both of them, Pro especially Gunner. I mean, going three eight, three and eight on the entry, worse stats than Geo overall. Um, I mean, I guess slightly better kill stats, but Geo has the four plants and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, you needed more out of Gunner by like a pretty slim margin because again, if they just didn't let that one round slip, they could have two out the series. Spoit on top and Gomez, the other really big performer for M80, not iconic, actually their worst performer, but uh, no, these two guys were the the ones that got it across the line. Gomez, his stats probably padded a tiny bit because he got one one v four clutch, um, so that's a four K. That's Again, a clutch, and that came in a round that they did win, of course. He clutched out the round, but it was on Skyscraper where they lost decisively, so they could have lost more decisively. You know, they didn't win the map or anything, so Gomez's stats, I'd say, inflated slightly, but maybe that's the case for Sport, and I'm just not paying close enough attention. Um, in terms of the entry, I guess they were dead even. Yeah, they both went plus zero, so... Uh, we just keep seeing that trend um, and maybe I just haven't paid as much attention to when it's not close But it really has stuck out like a sore thumb to me that we've had a lot of very very close entry games regardless of the Whether it was a close game or not a close game and Finally we have yeah Beast Coast destroying auction. I didn't get to watch a lot of this one I was busy doing something oxygen Massively the favorite of course and if you just went off the very very recent trend where auction got 7-2, 7 0 in their last two best of ones. Um, you know, I think Beast Coast definitely get, deserves a little bit more credit. Oxygen was fourth place, Beast Coast was fifth place. So again, they're only slightly above them on the standings, but last time that they did play, and that was the longest ago game of the group stage, it was the very first game, um, Oxygen did beat Beast Coast pretty handily. We actually see Sweater on top, sort of an oddity, bit of a rarity, doesn't matter that much though. They all had these three players, pretty similar kills and deaths. Um, you know, just the ratings don't really matter. You all got decimated. And on the other hand, Beast Coast, everyone going positive, including Mr. B, who had eight plants, and um, they did destroy them on the entry. They went plus six on entry, and there were only, like, 18 rounds. Yeah, there were only 18 rounds played. So very massively positive there. And, uh, I mean, what can you say? Beast Coast looking very, very good. Good game out of hyper and vertical simultaneously. Nice to see. And, I mean, of course, good to see everyone doing well at the same time. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to, to say about it. And I guess I already did all the call to actions at the beginning. So I'll say it one more time, like, comment, subscribe. And with all of that being said, catch you guys next time.